Hey everybody, it's Steven, it's the Keyblade Fire Triple Threes, and welcome back to Kid Heart HD 2.8! Final chapter product in Kid Heart, Green Deluxe Distance in HD. Today, we're going to make the final part, well, technically not part for it, because we're going into find Sora and wake him up as soon as possible we can, because we're still playing as Riku, well, technically, it's not over yet. But today, for the today I was said, I'm going to make two videos of it because it will take a long time for me to do all sorts of cutscenes and all sorts of battling, you know what that type of stuff. So, what I'm going to do was technically it will take down one boss battles and technically sometimes it takes a long time for the cutscenes. Then I'm going to stop here and take a break for just only a little bit, then come back because I'm going to make it two parts for this video. So that's what happened for today. For Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance HD because we're nearly to the end of it, we were so close. We're finally gonna make it this far, so we can do this so far. So, same thing as usual, just uh, the Ghost of Baki, Electricorn, Tyrax, and the Kamek Dance. Nothing much has changed. I then somehow do uh, Blue Lebanon to do, try and get some new stuff to happen. Just, I'm just gonna keep it like oh, so it happens. So, we're just gonna leave it at this so far. So, let's just straight in the save source, okay? End of the road, huh? I know I'm back in the real world, but I still have my Dream Eater powers. Which means, he still hasn't woken up. Where are you, Sora? Huh? Dream Eater! Is that where Sora is? How do I get across? Huh? Oh. Right. I get it. That's gotta be Sora's Dream Eaters. Because it's a really weird that like when beginning of this game, you get one of your own spirits, and as for Riku as well, it's one of his Kunamali cool bats. So what we had to do is we need to cross that path over here. We had to do the weird shit like this, and we just straight into it. Okay then. Uh, sometimes it wasn't exactly how it was, but we're just straight in. Hands off my new vessel. Vessel? Yes. We originally had our sights set on you. But... You developed a certain resistance to darkness. So we did what the Keyblade did, and moved down the list. Roxas. Now there was a worthy candidate. But, unfortunately, he became too aware of himself, and returned to Sora. Organization 13's true goal is to divide Xehanort's heart among 13 vessels. Thanks to you and Sora, we learned not all our candidates were fit for the task, but we managed to make up the difference. And now, Sora, the thirteenth vessel, is within our grasp. Thirteen? Xehanorts? <gasps> what is... The real Organization 13. The organization? I am Xehanort from the most distant past. My future self gave me a task. To visit the splintered versions of myself in many worlds and ensure they gathered here today. From the past? There are restrictions to movement through time. First, 
you must leave your body behind to do it. Then there must be a version of you waiting at the destination. Upon arrival, you can only move forward as per the laws of time, and you cannot rewrite the events that are destined to happen. What have you done? My most future self will arrive soon. Then time for all of us will return to normal. And I will go back to my era to live the life fate has in store. He can vouch for that. I'm glad I'm not too late. Mickey! Just grab Sora so we can go. I can't stop them for long. Okay. <laughs> Mickey! <gasps> I said hands off! How can you be moving? Are you? Be gone! This is it, we're gonna take on young Xehanort, which is part of the Keyblade Wizard. Remember? I remember he was used to be Keyblade Wizard, since Master Xehanort was part of it. So I know he's done things before, but he had the Keyblade since then. I remember that for some of But he used to have some of the But yet, this young Xehanort here, he just came from the, the past. He could do time traveling stuff. Like, I don't know how. Damn it! Dang it! This one is like a one tough. You really have to do it. Because he sometimes tries for faster. It kind of reminds me of um, Kim Hot Bird by State Final Night. The, the secret boss battles. There was a guy. There was a name. There was Carbine. It's called Mysterious Speaker. Which now confirmed that Mysterious Guy, Mysterious Speaker, is none other than Yan Zaynon, the one who powers up with from Terra, Van, and Aqua. Nope. Nope, not happening. Now he's gonna do that thing again. I'm gonna kill myself. No, stop it! Come on! Yeah, this one is gonna be really be careful on these because sometimes you try and slow your down for it. Instead, I'll just use barrier as I could. Unless you have some sort of discerning abilities in mind, be able to do it. Now, do me a crash. Yeah, that young Zeno here, he came from the past. Because he used to use time traveling thing. He time traveling to get to the future, this is also. But technically, it didn't work on the Laguna because it didn't time by itself. So, it might be explained to all. But why is it like you can't make time real times in the Laguna? This doesn't make no sense. Ah, stop it! Well, nearly to the end of it, wait, not really. You see what's gonna happen. There it goes. Now it starts happening. Now he's trying to make in these. Use the edges against the young Zeno. Yeah, this one. Ah, oh, no! I didn't mean to do that! Oh, I'm screwed! You have technically had to trigger the edit shit before it's too late for it. Because they start restarting the boss. Yeah, I had to make sure I make it time as right, otherwise you will be screwed up for a bit. So that's the reason why I try and make this like a two, two video first. Well, it's a good thing, 20 HP speed is like, not much. At least it won't be taking forever to try and beat him out again. It's a good thing. So we have to keep doing that again, but make sure I, this time, I have to get the time it right. To use the answer. Stop it! 
I'm gonna kill myself. You just keep to be teleporting. Okay, now I gotta make sure I have to time it right. Come on. It should be right, right? Now! Now, I have to make sure to break these chains. Maybe I can make it like a one go. Oh, I have to make sure there's certain ways to do it. I think not. I have to wait for it. Oh, jeez. I don't think I can't make it. There it goes! Now this one is gonna be like a second phase to take on the young thing. I have to take him down when the time starts. Then. But right now, it starts to resetting it. So make sure you have to destroy the clock before they start resetting the boss battles. But now he's been doing like these because that's the same features that came from the, the secret boss battles. Stop it! You have to make sure that yeah. anything happens. Yeah. I do this. Yeah. yeah, I have to make sure you yeah. time it right before it's too late. Yeah. You have to yeah. like a certain time before it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. Come on! Yeah, I really hate the young Xehanort to use the power to try to push us away from it. Okay, we're almost there. We better hurry before time runs out. I'm gonna do this. Come on. Are gonna make it? Come on! We're almost there! Yes! Way back! So we did it guys. We finally beat Jan Zaynard, but... Not sure it's gonna be over here, but there's still more ins to it, so you're gonna see what happens. Are you okay, Riku? Yeah. Thanks, Mickey. <gasps> oh! Master Xehanort! Huh? We were right about you! <clears throat> All of this was decided. My twelve selves would welcome me here on this day, when I would return a complete person. It is the future which lies beyond my sight. Why are you doing this? In ancient times, people believed that light was a gift from an unseen land by the name of Kingdom Hearts. But Kingdom Hearts was safeguarded by its counterpart, the Keyblade. Warriors vied for that precious light, thus beginning the Keyblade War. The violent clash shattered the Keyblade into twenty pieces. Seven of light and thirteen of darkness. And the only real Kingdom Hearts was swallowed by the darkness never to surface again. I once tried to create my own pure light and darkness to forge the Keyblade, but the attempt ended in failure. In my eagerness, I had lost sight of the correct way to achieve my goal. I acted rashly. I can admit that now. What you did back then, your mistakes, changed the destinies of three of my friends! Ah, uh, but destiny is never left to chance. I merely guided them to their proper places. The broken boy who failed to be the blade. The misguided master who sacrificed herself for a friend. And the feckless youth who became my new vessel. I couldn't find a way to save them. But I wanted to believe that their sacrifice stopped you for good. Why? How was I so blind? I should have seen it as soon as Maleficent started gathering the seven princesses of heart. Yes. They were all my doing. 
I used the evil fairy to find seven pure lights for me. Just as I prepared thirteen vessels to fill with pure darkness. But you failed. Sora stopped you in your tracks on both counts. Yes, he did. That dull, ordinary boy. A Keyblade wielder so unlike any I have ever seen. However, I have not abandoned my ambitions. The Seven Guardians of Light and the Thirteen Seekers of Darkness. <laughs> Seven Guardians of Light? Well, for Keyblade wielders, there's me and Riku and Sora. And my three missing friends, that's six. Then the seventh would be... Oh, that means... The Thirteen Seekers of Darkness? Yes, little king. Perceptive. But Sora and another on your list belong to me now. And that puts you three guardians short. But worry not. All of the pieces are destined to appear. Your seven lights, just like my thirteen darknesses, whose final clash will beget the prize I seek. The, the Keyblade! But first, the thirteen darknesses shall be united. All the seats have been filled. And now... The last vessel shall bear my heart, like the rest! Uh, no! Sora! The name's Lee. Got it memorized? You're not supposed to be here! Promises to keep. I'll always be there to get my friends back. What? Bad timing? You had your perfect little script, but you kind of forgot to write the sequel. Now, let's find out what happens. What now, you old coot? Our time is up! Why are you here, Axel? No, I told you my name's... <sighs> Whatever. Axel. Fine. Now let's get out of here. Right! Supposed to do that? I think so. <laughs> Goofy, Donald, you saved us. We are out of time. Neither the union of light nor darkness has been achieved. We must all return whence we came. But the gathering of the seven and thirteen is nigh. Let us finish this at the fated place. 
once your lights and my darknesses have joined together. The mysterious tower. Seven lights. Thirteen darknesses. Master Xehanort has been busy. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ah, Sora. Don't tell me your heart's sleeping, too. No, Mickey. This affliction is not the same. Can we do anything for him? Yeah. In your Mark of Mastery exam, you were to unlock seven sleeping keyholes. By doing so, you would awaken those worlds from their prison of slumber and also acquire the power to free a heart from its sleep. Riku, you unlocked those keyholes within Sora's dreams. Therefore, it stands to reason that you now have the power to awaken Sora's heart. You want him to dive back into Sora's sleep? But, Master, Sora's heart is down in the darkest abyss. If Riku's not careful, he might just get trapped down there with him. No, I'll go instead. And perhaps you may even succeed, Mickey. But there is no denying Riku stands the better chance, having dived into Sora's heart as long as he has. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Mickey, I really appreciate it, but I'll go wake Sora up. Riku! Look at his face, sleeping like nothing's wrong, like there's nothing to even worry about. He's always been like that. The three of us would agree to work on the raft, and then this guy would go take a nap on the beach. You see... It's my job to keep him on his toes. Besides, what kind of Keyblade Master sleeps through his test? I'm doing it for me too. Sora saved me once. And... I heard him call my name. He needs me. Hmm. There's something real strong that binds us to each other. Even in the darkness, you can reach him. All you gotta do is follow that connection. Gee, we're all connected to Sora. Yes, and if the darkness gets you, I promise I'll bail you out. Dark Rescue's my middle name. Guys, thank you. Sora and I will be back soon. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pause. It's gonna happen for it. No, I can't pause for it. Yeah, like, maybe I'll just uh, stop the way I get part of the cutscenes for it. So yeah, now we have to dive into the stores. Okay, I can't do it. I'll do that for later. 
But yeah, we have to die into Soros, so we have to wake him up. So now the objective says is to attack Soros, which is the one from far from the bottom. So let me make sure yeah. that don't get hit by those the anti forms yeah. like Shadow Heart or Yeah. No, I missed it. Yeah. Otherwise, if you guys messed up, you we back to back to the start but nice. And also, do not make it dash really quick. Or let's try to screw up a bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's just keep tagging it. Oop. Almost there. Jeez, I don't know how many was it. There it goes. Now the ring is open. I'm gonna pause this uh, loop of the cutscene for it. Let's just wait for it. Okay, that's what I'm going to leave it at this point on because it's technically there's no turning back right now. So I'm going to leave at this point. There's going to be some boss battles. There's stuff that's going to happen. So when I come back, it only take about a few minutes when I finish it up with this video. So then I come back to take on the final boss because right now it's going to be like a final part for King Hearts Dream Jump Distance in HD. So stick around if you like this video. Hit the like button too. Light them up. If you want to see my videos, go check out the other videos, so go subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later!